And I think to myself What a wonderful world Hello beautiful humans and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Alex and this is my channel Simply Alexandra and today I'm gonna answer the question which you're thinking right now which is why on earth am I wearing this skimpy little outfit and heels like this and booty shorts like this? Well it's because I'm here to talk to you about pole dancing and I know that this whole getup that I'm wearing is the reason that puts off people to try pole dancing because they think I don't want to wear the stripper heels, I don't want to wear the skimpy outfits and therefore I'm not going to try this amazing sport and I think that that is just so sad because pole dancing has honestly changed my life. I can't say that enough. So I really want to convince you to try it this year, stop holding off and to help convince you I'm going to tell you a little bit about why pole is so fantastic, why it's changed my life and take you through a bit of my pole journey. So, without further ado, you don't have to wear this. You don't have to wear booty shorts. You don't have to wear heels. There are pole specific clothing which completely covers your body and you don't have to wear heels, you can wear bare feet. Now, I'm feeling a little underdressed for a sales pitch considering I am trying to sell you on trying pole dancing. So I'm gonna get into something a little bit more comfortable and then let's get into it. I'm back and I'm in a princess dress. Well, is it a puff sleeve princess dress? I'm not sure, I just love this style. So before we get into things, a quick little bit about my own pole journey. So I started pole dancing in 2018 in April. And at the end of that year, I was able to do some pretty cool things on the pole. And my goal for the next year was to compete. So in 2019, I competed and I did a competition and it's so valuable having a goal to compete because it really forces you to go in and train and learn your routine and get it perfect. And I can't tell you, there's absolutely nothing like nailing your routine and making it look like it isn't hard. And it actually gets to the point where it's almost not hard because you're able to put on a beautiful, serene face and make it look like you're not using and tensing and Honestly, there's nothing like making something look like you're just floating around the pole. And I'll link to my pole video as well. The pandemic really did throw a spanner um, in my pole journey and I wasn't able to pole properly for quite some time. But I'm now back into pole. I'm not as strong as I was at the start of 2020, but I'm probably, I'd say, as strong as I was maybe eight to nine months into my pole journey. So I have lost a fair amount, maybe maybe half, but it is coming back really quickly. Now, what a contrast, right? You just saw me in exotic pole wear and now you're seeing me in this. And that is one of the cool things about pole dancing is you get to explore a whole nother side of yourself and you can express yourself in so many different ways with pole. It's not this one shoe that everybody has to fit. You can do lyrical, you can do hip hop styles, you can do exotic styles, you can do Russian styles, you can do just sensual stripper stuff styles. <laughs> you can honestly make it your own. Another thing that people worry about when starting pole is they think I'm not strong enough, I'm not fit enough, a lot of the pole dancers are so strong, I'm just not going to be able to do anything. Don't worry about that because we all start from the same place. I'll show you a video right here of me being proud of just very basic things early on and I was just so impressed with myself because you'd be surprised, even though you don't think you're strong, you're probably stronger than you think. You don't have to be strong, you don't have to be fit, that's what the pole is for. And you'd be surprised at how much strength you have and aided by the grip of your body, you're actually going to be able to do a whole lot more than you thought that you could. So don't worry about that. Even the most amazing pole dancers start from somewhere. We all started by sitting on the pole, by learning to climb the pole, by trying to hold our body weight, we all started there. And everybody is amping you on. No one's judging you, no one's thinking, you're not strong, you can't do this, no. Everyone is just there applauding you, just telling you that you're doing such a great job, that you look like fire, that you're so sexy. So honestly, it's just amazing. And speaking of being applauded, something where the pole community can be applauded more than I'd say any other sport or dance is the fact that it is so inclusive. 
Pole dancing is literally for everybody, whether you're straight, gay, queer, trans, man, woman, intersex, um, non-binary, you could honestly be from any background, any ethnicity, even any disability. I've seen people who are blind and do pole dancing. I've seen people who are in wheelchairs and do pole dancing. So it really is a sport which is just so, so, so inclusive. It also doesn't matter what size you are. So you might think, oh, but I'm, I'm too heavy to do pole. That's not the case at all, and I promise you that. No matter what size you are, whether you're a size six, a size 16, or a size 26, it doesn't matter. Trust me, you being heavier than the, than the person next to you just doesn't matter. And if you do have a fair amount of body fat, there are some tricks that you might find it more difficult, but there are always ways that you can move yourself around the pole and make that trick work for you. So don't worry about your size, don't worry about your gender, don't worry about your sexuality, don't worry about your body hair. Honestly, it doesn't matter. We just want to see you there and we just want to amp you up. Now, one of the cool things about pole when you're let's say a month or so in is you'll notice that you're starting to gain a lot of strength and that's because it is a very all-inclusive your body is working really hard to do its sport but you're having so much fun that you don't realize how hard you're actually working so in a month's time you might be actually ridiculously strong and you'll be able to do something that maybe you haven't been able to do before i remember when i was maybe a year and a bit into pole dancing and I just went to the gym randomly because I was like oh I'll just see what I could do here. I was doing full-on chin-ups and like three in a row and I have never been able to do those in my entire life but the strength that I had from pole dancing lets me do other things as well. It just makes you strong in general and if you're thinking about having a happy and healthy strong body it's incredibly rewarding to know that the strength that you're gathering from pole dancing is also really valuable elsewhere. Another reason why people are a little bit too nervous to go into pole dancing is because they think that they don't look like a pole dancer and they don't look like a blonde Barbie or a super skinny girl with super long legs and therefore pole dancing isn't for them. And let me say this to you really bluntly. I have not danced with anybody or seen anybody in a pole studio that looks like a perfect pole dancer. You might find them in the strip club, but you probably won't find them in the pole studio. And that's because very few people look like that. The studio is just not full of Barbies, it isn't. It's filled with normal people who look normal with normal bodies. And that's something that you don't see very often. You see so many airbrushed bodies and when you get into pole dancing, you see so many people with normal bodies and it makes you realize how normal your body is. We all have cellulite. I am yet to see someone who doesn't have cellulite. We all have lumps and bumps. We all have shaving rashes. We all have um, body hair. It's completely normal. So don't worry about how you look. Don't think I'm not gonna look good enough. You don't need to wear makeup. You can if you want. You can go to pole dancing feeling really glam, but at the end of the day, you're probably gonna sweat it off. It may make you feel sexy and for that reason do it, but it's not a requirement at all. Now, one of my favorite things about pole dancing is that it's incredibly holistic. So not only are you working on your strength, you're also working on your cardio, you're working on your flexibility in order to do certain tricks, and you're also working on your brain and your ability to dance and to make things look beautiful, your coordination. It's so all-encompassing. It's just such a complimentary sport. So if you're wanting to try it, please, please, please make 2021 the year that you try it. Now, I really hope that I've convinced you to try pole dancing in 2021. So please give it a go. Let me know if you've tried it. Please, if you're trying it, don't do it for just a week. Try it for a month or two and let your body get used to it because it takes a little while to see improvement. So give yourself a good month at a studio and I just can't wait for you to go on your pole journey. It is honestly one of the best things that you will ever do. Okay, bye.